You can look at any project. You've got to move from A to B, you've got to find a house. Often you have to find a school. You have to sort out things like bank accounts and insurance and, and all the sort of practical stuff and utilities and broadband and Wi-Fi and all that sort of stuff. But actually, it's the emotional side is what most people actually need. And that's what I think we do so much better than anybody else. So we had an opportunity through my husband's work and we thought we'd come for, to try for a year and see how things went and go on an adventure. It was very exciting, very daunting, bringing three teenagers across the world. What we discovered in our first chat was that she was completely terrified of how the kids were going to you know, fit in and how they were going to feel about leaving all their friends. And at that point she realised that she sort of had a surrogate friend, you know, that was going to be able to hold her hand emotionally as well as do all the practical physical side of it. And then through videos and Skyping and then we just built this relationship and I had trusted her, trusted she knew where I was coming from and that she was going to take care of us and she fulfilled that perfectly. My husband had one weekend that he was here, so I had one day to find a house. And Miriam had set up 10 houses, I think, for them to look at that day. So this was the winner. She took a ton of pictures, video, and sent it all through, drew up a floor plan to help with choosing what furniture to bring. So we had to ship everything. We had a lag time of about six to eight weeks where we needed beds and a sofa and table. So Miriam contacted a rental furnishings company and was able to have the whole house prepared. So we got off the plane and moved into the house. And that was a gift, huge gift. So we had a kettle set up. We had clean, fresh linens on the beds. TV was set up. We had Wi-Fi. That was critical, three teenagers with Wi-Fi. So in the US, we don't, the process for renting is not as rigorous as it is here. So that was shocking to see the extensive tenancy agreement and all of the steps we had to go through before we could rent. And things like inventory lists, we had no idea of anything like that. So Miriam walked us through the entire process and made it so much easier. So she gave us a book, a home mover Bible, which had everything from how to park to how to catch the train to London, all of the little nitty gritty pieces that you need when you first land in a new environment. Without her help, we wouldn't be here. There's no way. I would have, we wouldn't have been able to do it. It's flat out, Miriam was the number one reason we were able to move and stay sane.